This video is sponsored by the Full-Time Success Academy. Be sure to stick around at the end of the video to see more details in reference to how you can join the Full-Time Success Academy and turn your passion into profit. Over here in Dreamweaver, what we're doing today is, as a web developer, what I normally get is a lot of requests in reference to the font style, in reference to the website. Over here in Dreamweaver, if you're using the Adobe Creative Cloud, this is really easy working with Typekit here. As you can see here, it's the website that I'm actually working on right here, and you can see the font style at the very top. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change that font style, and I'm going to show you how easy this is. If you come over here to Dreamweaver, if you're a Dreamweaver fan, you go over here to Modify, and you come over here to your Manage Fonts. And when you click into the manage fonts, only thing you have to do is just select the font that you that you desire. Over here is a whole list of fonts that you can kind of break it down in reference to um, different scriptings of your fonts, whatever the case may be. So what we're going to do for the sake of this video, we're just going to select a quick font here and we're going to just find something really fun where you can definitely see the change here and we're going to go right here with this font style. And you can also select several different font style if you decide you want to to download to your machine. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done right there and as you can see right here what we're going to change is the title everywhere that we have this different type of font style is what's going to change because that's what's being called up in reference to the CSS so right over here is the style CSS page and then what we need to do next is we need to make sure that we have our select section title because you can see the class right there is in reference to the section title so Let's go right over here and let's find that section title under our selectors. So let's open up the selectors tab right here. There's the body, the HTML, and make sure that I'm on this style CSS. Uh, you can also search it too. Okay, so here's the section title right here. And then what we're going to do is go over to the uh, text tool if you're using Photoshop you're definitely familiar with that and right here with the font family only thing you got to do is select that there the fonts already been downloaded you can go ahead and change that there so now what we're going to do is we're going to get a little pop there kind of you know letting us know that the font style did take place there so only thing I need to do now is go move the CSS page that I was working on which was the styles and when I kind of bring that over right there, you'll see you'll get a success. And when we come back over here to the website, let's go ahead and refresh it out there. And you can see the font style has changed right there, everywhere. You know, really quickly, really easy. You can use any type of font style. Let's go ahead and change that font style one more time. You can see how easy it is to interchange these things. Let's go over here to uh, a different font style. You're going to get a little pop here, and you're going to see it take effect and then the only thing we have to do is come over here to our CSS and change it move it over come over here refresh <clears throat> and you can see where the font style has changed now when you're dealing with different machines you'll notice that that within uh, different machines that you're using in reference to uh, your you know whether you're using an Apple computer or a, um, a Windows machine, you know, you may not necessarily have that font style downloaded on that machine. However, with Typekit, this, this font style will uh, download automatically right to the person's machine and they'll be able to see it on the web. So you don't have to worry about those 11 say fonts anymore, especially working with the Typekit and you can kind of see the way it kind of goes in there. So that's it. Thanks for watching the video and stick around here for our sponsor. Hmm. Over here with Montana Portis is a website that I built. Um, pretty awesome website here. It's really quick, really easy. Um, this is an example of a landing page. You can go to websitecandy.com, look for the banner inside the middle there, and you can see the landing pages that we're building here. Right here within the Full Time Success Academy, as you can see, you can click right there and it takes you right to the academy. Um, however, I'm going to leave a link below, so go ahead and check it out where you can turn your passion into profits. and 
you know, she has a video right here explaining everything in reference to what you're going to get in reference to the Full Time Success Academy. So go ahead, come on over, join, and let me know that you join. Thanks, and have a great day.